Hi Nadeem. Hi Dr. Nandita, how are you? Good, good, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. <sighs> I'll tell you one thing Nadeem, uh, when I went to see Sir, na, right. uh, 21st was his birthday, the day he got admitted. Right. So he he, just, he was just smiling away. And I said, Sir, kyun, uh, I was also smiling. He said, Sir, kya hua? I have to go back by Diwali. I have to go back home. I said, of course you'll get back home. So, then he said, uh, uh, things are very different, you know. I said, no, no, sir, you'll get back, definitely. Don't worry. So, then, you know, uh, then he said something which actually, you know, uh, when my dad was ill, you know, right, right at the end, he had come home and he met him. He said, Colonel, how are you? And my dad was, uh, he said, okay. Uh, he just kind of looked at him and he said, Ganal uh, I think it's time to go. So don't uh, suffer. Just tell God to take you. So he sat with my dad for, uh, you know, Papa was in semi, semi coma. He sat with my dad for some time, for about half an hour, 40 minutes. He held his hand and so and my dad passed away that night oh. so it was like he he always used to believe in no sufferings and he always said no ventilators to me and no nothing and so that day when i met him he said the same thing he said you remember your dad you did the best for him but uh, you agreed to whatever he said so you, you guys have to also agree to what i say so i told him i said sir you just like a father to me and uh, you will always do what you say so then he was kind of a little relieved and he just never wanted to be on a ventilator. We are live on YouTube now. Okay. Hello, Dr. Can Raj. Yeah, Dr. Raj, how are you? Hi, Hello. Raj. Da. How are uh, you? Say, tell me. I'm fine. All well. Yes, all, well. Yes, all is good. Yeah, we have a cold winter morning, very cold and grey, and uh, I see it's not 8 o'clock yet there? Uh, it's, it's... Not yet, it's about 10 minutes to go. Hi, Arvind. Hello, Dr. Rajvanshi. Good evening. Arvind, can you hear me? I think he hasn't, uh, he switched off his... Uh... No. Yeah, he, he's speaking but we also can't hear him. Sir, you are muted. Sir, you are muted. There. Namaskar, sir. Hi, how are you, Arvind? It is on. Yes, we can yeah, hear you. Yeah, it's on now. Yeah, yes. Yeah, no, it's on now. Yep. We can hear you. How are you? So what actually happened to him? Uh, <clears throat> Dr. Raj, I met him on uh, the 12th of uh, September. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes sir, we, we can. can hear you. That's good. So he was perfectly fine, sir, on the 12th of September. He was 
it was his granddaughter's birthday and i had gone there so it was uh, we had uh, we had a lovely time we had cake and this and that chatted a lot one thing is i think there was a neurological problem with which he was uh, suffering initially and uh, he couldn't uh, uh, he wasn't walking too much and he had gained a bit of weight so <clears throat> After that, I think it was just eurosepsis. When Saroj called me up that uh, on the twenty twenty twentieth evening late night, so he she said that he is uh, just he needs an admission. So I said okay, fine. So immediately we got him admitted, and uh, I think the next three days went pretty well. But I think then the eurosepsis, uh, uh, you know, just uh, kind of uh, there was a total. Uh, sepsis all over i think and uh, one by one the, the organs started shutting down and there was hepatic encephalopathy also like 3 years ago or 4 years ago we were we were doing a cme in amritsar and uh, rakesh vashish was supposed to be the chief guest but he never showed up and one of his friends was there he told me that no he's not well so he gave me his number and i tried to call him a couple of times but uh, he didn't pick up the phone and then when i came back to toronto again we tried from here but he, i thought maybe that's the wrong number but he never picked up the phone and i, I never could speak to him yeah hi murli hello dr murli Yeah, enjoying it. Good. You're, You're muted. muted. You're muted. Second. Yeah, I just said, Raj, you're looking more like Rajneesh any day, every day. <laughs> Jai Shri uh, Ram. Jai Shri. Yeah, it's good to see you, but I wish it was for a better occasion. Okay? You know. Yeah, uh, I know. Better occasion. Okay? I know. I feel bad. I never met him after uh, PGI. He never came to any meetings that I attended, and uh, we could never connect, even though we were so close in PGI. Yeah. He never used to come for us cap or some or cap or any of the American meetings. Dr. Mohanty, how are you? You're muted, Dr. Mohanty. I'm seeing you after what forty years. I can't hear. She, she's muted. Your your microphone is shut off. Uh, Dr. Datta has joined. Hi, Doctor Datta. अब बोलो तो बोलो वो आपका माइक वन था अभी बोलो चलो Good evening. 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 Good
I remember the drive back from Ludhiana with you and Rakesh no. after the CM in 2006. Mm -hmm. We had a lot. Hello. Hello. No. Hello, sir. Hello, what are you doing? Okay, sir. How are you, sir? I'm all good. Sir. Anji, sir. Hello. Hello. Dr. Tata has joined, sir. Namaste. Yes, sir. Namaste. So wonderful to see you. This is Bush here. Hello, Bush. <laughs> yeah. I had injuries. So yeah, I created yeah, Ram it. told me. You look much better now, sir. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> we, we are about to start requesting everybody to mute their phones, mm -hmm. their, their connections, except Dr. Nandita. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. It's a very sad moment today for all of us to connect together to condole and, of course, to celebrate the life of our dear Sir RKV, as we always called him so lovingly. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think this duty of moderating this meeting would be mine. Sir RKV is a legend and legends do not die, but live through others who they have touched during their lives. <coughs> in their lives. <coughs> Few people are God's very special creations. And let me just tell you that Sir RKV was one of them. He was surely minutely carved by God in his free time as there can never be a human being like him. You, you meet him once and you remember him all your life. Such was he, our Sir RKV. A brilliant, astute pathologist with a God-given diagnostic acumen, a par excellent teacher who cared so deeply for his students and all his students just adored him. A humble and down-to-earth man with just no ego at all. And remember, uh, it was always it used to be like we were we used to have our rosters, and the moment we would know that we are posted with Dr. R K V, oh my God, that used to be a an event. It, it used to be a great day for us. I don't think he has ever shouted at any person in the department, and yet he has commanded the utmost highest degree of respect. Mm -hmm. And he was equal to everyone, honestly speaking. He was a real father of our department, and this loss is just too unbearable. He was a very witty man, as you all know. And he was the soul and the life of each and every gathering, or any party for that matter. If Dr. RKV is not there, if Dr. RKV is not there, then that party uh, is no fun at all. His persona was actually so limitless. limitless infinite, I would say. And we all looked up to him and wanted to be just maybe 5% or 10% of him. He was a super fantastic orator and all of us tried to be like him. That was the way it used to be. And always kind of, you know, looked at him in that way. What, what does he, how does he, uh, you know, uh, deliver the CPCs and so on. And he was, uh, he would mesmerize the audience. As you all know, you heard him speak. <laughs> And yet he was a very simple man. Just a minute, sir. My dog has just come in. Chalo, come here. Sorry, 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 sorry. As his friend said at his Othala the other day, when we all, uh, you know, uh, were there, he said he introduced us to the village life where he had lived and studied in the early part, uh, I think uh, till class seven, he was there. And actually that was so true. I too felt the same thing after working with him for 32 years. I feel that you know, the simplicity of a village life was in him. And he 
always kind of gave that to us to along with his of course the academic part it was really my good luck that i worked with him for 30 years and this is god's grace for me actually we still pass on sir's teachings to our students and each day we always use his name sir rk we used to say this sir rk we used to say this so that's the way it always goes you know this is a dictum and sir rk we used to say this so it still goes on with us today i'm short of words but sir you were a super human being a real icon in the true sense of the word a legend and you will always live within our hearts my heartful uh, heart felt deepest condolences to the family dr saroj dr dhruv pranjali navna and vidang and to the entire vishesh family and may sir uh, his soul rest in peace sir rest in peace uh, though you left us too early but you will live with us always and always forever so that's it from me and now i would like to invite uh the uh, the first uh, speaker dr bush uh, dr bush thank you mute you yourself and you can go on please thank you nandita and we are very grateful to you and nadim for being thoughtful enough to organize this all of us have a lot of things to say but we need to ration the time because there are so many speakers full of experiences to share um i was lucky there in the department when rakesh joined for residency he was standing out smart sharp fun loving enjoyed the cpcs enjoyed our cricket matches uh, there used to be a chinese restaurant in sector 14 in the university area we used to go and celebrate each time we had a fruitful event especially winning a cricket match against other departments so those are very fond memories i have of him i think two or three days after he finished his md exam in december uh, we went to the iapm conference in belgaum as it was called then so we took with us rajwanshi gurmit singh and washish and i remember when we reached there many of them were asking where are you from and uh, all three used to introduce i am so and so and i am from pj chandigarh and i've just passed my exam two days ago <laughs> and uh, the entertainment team officially arranged for the banquet in belgaum met with an accident in the train in a station called miraj so they couldn't reach and the organizing team including dr nagloti mat they were in a big uh, mess because there was a huge audience waiting for entertainment and the team was not there so he just they just asked anybody in the audience would like to help us out so rakesh gurmeet and i we went on the stage and we entertained the audience for almost one and a half hours they just kept laughing and laughing so he was a spontaneous entertainer too around that time we also had a conference arranged by dr jolly who was the director of the blood bank it was the international society for blood transfusion and if i remember right it was about 10 days and our group including washish we were in charge of the transport the food etc etc so every evening we used to have a wonderful meal and it so happened that we had to eat in the end so washish was there i was there and a third person i think it was utpal choudhary i don't remember very accurately who it was and there was a little bit of dessert left so washish told him you take first he says no sir you take first it the argument went on you take first you take first then uh washish said okay i will listen to you he took the entire ball and emptied it in his plate and there was nothing left for the other guy so washish said lesson number 1 always offer to the uh, other person i uh, know first one was he offered it to utpal and utpal took a little bit and left a lot so washish emptied it and said lesson number 1 always offer it to the other person second evening the same thing happened same two of them the utpal said whatever you do i will ask you to take it first so washish emptied the whole ball so lesson number 2 look at whom you are offering before you offer so <laughs> you may not get anything left and then we had arranged a famous picnic in ropert i think dr datta will remember we are running around to collect funds for that 
and then um, after the conference we went for a picnic and we had arranged butter chicken to be made we went in a bus somehow i think it fermented the wrong way when we came back at night everybody had loose motions so when we reached in the morning we went to the main board and just wrote names and score three four five etc so washish was one of the instigators in writing that so whoever entered the department just saw it understood what it meant and then we had dr vijay joshi there at that time so vijay joshi wrote that i put my sacred thread the janev around my ear and not taken it out because he went so many times he had no time to take it out then washish got married uh, saroj and uh, washish used to stay in a block dhruv was born and every lunch hour we used to go have a look at the baby you know it was like a fascinating thing to do the worst uh, affected residents were the residents in pediatrics their white coats or the aprons used to have multiple test tubes of stools of all the babies in the a block one was green one was yellow one was this thing they had to get all the investigations done from there so drug uh, drug uh, spent his earlier years with uh, us there in the a block and then washish bought a red colored maruti 800 those were the knockdown cars that came from japan uh, bharti and i got the first one which was blue color and uh, uh, washish got the second one he started his weekend adventures he used to go on friday evenings drive all the way saturday sunday and during those times the tractors and carts used to be overloaded with produce and he will drive sometimes into the back end of them and then we had to go and retrieve him and his car from there he even drove the red maruti car to uh, shrinagar when we had the conference on immunology there and we moved around in shrinagar in his red maruti car and our daughter that time who was small we had to take her back to the hotel he says take my car so we went to the car and right in lal chowk the car stopped we couldn't figure out what was wrong there was enough gas there so i called him up from a landline we had no cell phones he came running with a small can of gasoline i said wash is there is enough gas there he says no the meter is stuck at that level it doesn't move up and down so when he called i knew exactly what was happening so very interesting anecdotes one of the last meetings i had before the 2019 alumni meeting was the apcon in hyderabad i think if uh, ashim das is there and vishan are there on the call they will remember they arranged a banquet in a huge garden in the outskirts of the town it rained heavily the whole food got wet nobody could eat and we all got wet and washis was not to be seen he that time i think we had cell phones he kept calling ashim he says come and pick me up so ashim was asking where are you he says i am near the elephant it was not a zoo and we kept wondering where is the elephant in the garden so we went driving driving and eventually we found a very large life size statue of elephant and washish was there we had to pick him up and then we brought him back to the hotel and lastly when we had the meeting in 2019 i think he was not there for many of the sessions during the day when the uh, the party started in the pgi club he joined about half an hour after the party started when he walked in there was an audial uh, audible excitement going through the whole group now the michael jackson has come we will all dance and have fun so he entertained the whole crowd with his fantastic dancing and bharti and i got to got a chance to have a um, conversation with saroj after many years it was so wonderful to meet her back so bharti and i leave with his good memories uh, i was talking to sudhir jain one of our alumni who stays in um, Delhi, I told him about Rakesh Vashist. He says, "Yar, ऐसा है ना हम सब लोगों का टिकट कट चुका है सिर्फ डेट ऑफ जर्नी नहीं लिखा है सो विथ दैट थाट लेट्स होप वी यूटिलाइज द रेस्ट ऑफ अवर लाइज इन अ प्रोडक्टिव मैनर बींग हेल्पफुल टू अदर्स एंड थैंक यू अगेन नदीम एंड नंदिता फॉर दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू शेयर सम ऑफ अवर एक्सपीरियंसिस आई एम डन थैंक यू you're muted you're muted right yeah 
So thank you, Dr. Bush, and uh, thank you so much for telling us so many such lovely stories of Dr. R. K. V. We heard so many of them, but some of them these are absolutely new ones. And now we go on to actually Mrinmay has to leave. He has another meeting at 8:30, so uh, he he requested me that he would like to speak a bit early. So, Dr. Mrinmay, are you there? Dr. Mrinmay. Hi, hello, hi, yeah, Nandita. Hi, hi, hi. Am I yeah, audible? Please. Yes, you're audible. Am I audible? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to stay on with the meeting as long as I can. So I hopefully I should be able to stay on for a while. But just in case I have to leave earlier, I just thought that I'd request you and thank you so much for letting me speak after uh, Dr. Bush and with so many of our legendary uh, pathologists right in front of me, in front of my screen. So my namaskar to everybody. Uh, this is Mrinmay. Uh, let me begin by offering my deepest condolences to Dr. Mrs. Uh, Saroj Bhushis, to Vanupuma and I, we know personally during from her stay and during, in Kuwait. Uh, and I pray that the Almighty provides you with uh, the strength to bear this loss. Uh, I would like to share my thoughts about Professor Vashish, uh, whom we all lovingly, ref lovingly refer to as RKV in two parts. Uh, the first is professional and the second one a little bit of personal. So as a professional, I'm sure all of us will agree that RKV will always be remembered as one of the giants of pathology who adorned the pantheon of this science at, with many other greats at PGIM or Chandigarh. Uh, his towering personality, he had a towering personality along with his exuberance. Uh, complemented very well his command and overall brilliance in the subject in a very, very unique and captivating way. Uh, to us residents, he was always very special. You see, during our formative years, when we are to a great extent a bit uh, or to a certain uh, bit overwhelmed uh, while balancing the acts of performing our duties and then trying to acquire a grasp of the subject, uh, reporting with RKV, and many of the points have been already uh, put, put by Nandita, was always had a kind of a calming influence with us. You know, you always wanted to go and report with him. Uh, his approach towards the subject, his approach towards the diagnosis, was to always keep things very simple. Uh, and uh, later in my life, I have tried my best to follow the so-called KISS theorem, you know, just keep it simple. Uh, among many other things which I learned, this approach towards diagnosing bone tumors, which he taught us through some didactic lectures uh, so many years ago, remains uh, with us till date. Uh, among other things, of course, his brain cutting sessions were great. And uh, but when he got into the mood, you know, some of them were extremely brief. Uh, well, others were very extensive and as residents, he always kept us guessing what, which one is it going to be, right? But when it was the latter, he had this unique ability to use stuff which we already knew, you know, sir, which many great teachers have, uh, to begin as reference points for further discussion. So that's what made it very, very interesting. Uh, one more thing, which I remember, <laughs> which is unrelated to his teaching prowess, was his great physical strength, his real physical strength those days. Because I remember that he could, and, and I hope, I guess many of the other residents would possibly remember, he would, he could, you know, he could just push or pull the entire table. It was a very heavy table in the crossing room with all the brain tissues, you know, uh, to his, to a particular position which he desired. And nobody needed to help him. So he could do the whole thing on his own. So he was a very strong man, Dr. Vashish. Uh, uh, I also consider myself extremely lucky on, a, on another angle because Dr. RKV was my uh, thesis co-guide, which was on FNACs of soft tissue tumors. Uh, finally, from a personal standpoint, uh, I can say I'm very happy and feel very fortunate that Dr. RKV and I became extremely close friends. I still remember very fondly some of the addas and sessions that which we had with Dr. RKV, Dr. Rajvan, she might remember, Dr. Arotra, Dr. Rajutra's place, Dr. Arotra was living alone at that time. And we used to get together and a lot of uh, 
nice fun. And this, of course, this friendship increased furthermore to a great extent during his tenure in Kuwait. And I used to often go to his place. We had some very nice one-to-one -one addas in Kuwait, which was absolutely fair. His sense of humor, everybody knows of. Uh, he was the heart of every party, everything like that. Now, uh, to f uh, you know, to the end, I would just like to say that you know our philosophical viewpoints about the eternity. You know, it uh, is. Uh, it varies according to possibly the religious beliefs or whatever we follow. So, on one hand, I pray that his soul finds a permanent place in the in the heavenly abode. And on the other hand, I have to finish with an oft-repeated quote, which I think is very ideal for a person of RKV's stature, and that is, sleep well, sweet prince. Om Shanti. Uh, thank you very much. For giving me this opportunity to speak about somebody who has been a wonderful teacher and a very very great friend thank you everyone thanks a lot thank you thank you so much Rinme. that was very sweet of you uh next we move on to dr arvind rajvanchi sir's best friend one of his best friends thank you <clears throat> It's very, very difficult to talk when you lose a friend. It's not possible to express myself. We have been there in VJ for 42 years together. We have been more socially in link with the family rather than the, I will not comment about the professional. When I joined, after that he got married, and when I knew he had married Saroj, I knew Saroj before, because she was the daughter of our principal, Mr. Sarwan and Kendir Gale Chimla. After that day, Dhruv was born, I got married, then uh, I had a son. Amit and Dhruv used to go to school together. And one day he will drop and another day I will drop and pick it. Or either he was dropping them and I was picking them up. And both these boys lovingly used to call them, call him Brahmin. And Dhruv was sitting here, he used to say Brahmin. Dutre, many times, Whenever I said I am waiting for a Pandit, he will say, Who, you won't find a more better qualified Pandit than me. I said, Raja, why should you wait for the Pandit? So many times we have done like this. We, we have travelled together to many conferences, many functions, and we have been together in many of the parties also enjoyed the life with our family. And when I heard the news, it was too late to book the flight to Tanigar, but I went to Tanigar and met the road and drew. Because it was uncontrollable. We never discussed the politics of the department. Never. Even we didn't discuss the pros and cons of being in cytology or histology. When he was going in an examiner, he will ask me cytology slides, I'll give him. And whenever I was going somewhere, I had taken histology slides from him. And he has always helped me in getting the, and giving the slides and the diagnosis and sometimes I have, even professionally, many times I have asked him to review his diagnosis or the diagnosis of the so that doesn't fit into that all. And he has very gracefully done it. He says, yes, the king here, yeah. tuning the king. Whereas many of the histophthologists will not agree to review their diagnosis. That was his quality. 
to professionally agree to whatever is to be done. There will light and movements also professionally. That he will forget to do a general club. Or same thing to many other things. He will for, if he forget, he was very frank. Only a few days back, about three months or so, I talked to him on the phone. And many times I have discussed with him about his ailment also. And he was very conducive to that. He wanted to improve and he has done some improvement. But anyway, what happens in life you don't know. And we have lost a very bright fellow, I'll say, very bright fellow. I have not seen many bright people like him. A very bright career has been cut short. And I wish the family, Tarot, Pranjali and Dhruv, they have the courage to bear the loss and they will be successful in their life. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Rajvanshi. Uh, Dr. Dhanpat, I think, also wants to leave a bit early. So, uh, let's go. Dr. Dhanpat, you can please speak. Oh, uh, thank you. I've been, I didn't want to break the your sequence of speakers. I, I'm happy to listen to everybody else and learn more about Vashis than I ever knew. Uh, but uh, I'll just say a few words anyway. Uh, you know, um, really it came to me as a surprise uh, about his passing away and uh, it was uh, very soon following uh, Dr. Akibi's passing away. So it's uh, uh, one of those times when you, you know, feel that uh, uh, you know, uh, all your past, all your uh, people that you respected, somehow you're losing and you never got a chance to say uh, thank you enough uh, to all those people, uh, Vashish being one of them. Um, you know, everybody <laughs> knows uh, uh, Vashish or RKV as we used to call him as one of the fun-loving guys and in a department where um, there are many people who uh, we saw as uh, people who maintained uh, uh, a certain degree of uh, discipline, uh, certain degree of formality, uh, certain degree of respect was there. And we are afraid of many of the seniors, uh, particularly like, for example, AKB. Uh, Washist brought that fun part to the whole department. Uh, I think he was the one who brought, broke that uh, uh, you know, decorum in some ways. And, and uh, on one hand, when we were, uh, you know, uh, very, very uh, 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 hesitant to uh, go and approach other people, uh, you know, with, with that kind of, an, uh, um, uh, you know, um, you can say uh, either um, frankness or openness, Vashist was one that everybody could go and talk to him about anything. Uh, and and uh, as uh, uh, many mentioned, that uh, when things uh, were very serious or were getting uh, too serious, he was the one who um, always provided that uh, uh, um, uh, fun aspect to it. So, uh, you know, uh, we'll always remember uh, Dr. Vashist for that. Um, he was one of the most talented pathologists that I uh, came across uh, during our training years. And uh, I do feel that, uh, you know, he could never uh, realize his uh, true potential for whatever reasons. But, uh, you know, he left his mark and his, uh, 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 and, and, uh, his uh, uh, teachings with everybody. So people will uh, remember him for all those, uh, uh, you know, uh, things that he, he uh, taught uh, um, his students. Um, other thing was that he was a very well-dressed man also. I think... Uh, 
when he came back from uh, uh, UK, the one of the things that everybody realized that uh, he was the one who was always the leading the pack with his impeccable uh, dressing style, his suits, and and and, uh, 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 and the way he carried everything. Uh, he um, um, was the uh, life of any of the parties that we used to have. Uh, he, he used to make uh, uh, everybody laugh. He used to mix with everyone, whether it's the very senior or junior. And, and uh, uh, we'll all kind of remember for all those qualities. Uh, one of the things that we could see, and particularly I could realize that while uh, he bought that fun aspect uh, and, and the uh, the the joking uh, nature that he had, and he used to lighten up every moment. There are always some degree of uh, uh, sadness is in eyes also, which you could never figure out what was behind that. But uh, it was somewhat uh, you know uh, obvious to many of us who knew him well that uh, behind his uh, outgoing and joyous nature, he had something in his eyes that uh, you know was always uh, behind the curtains and. We could never figure it out, but uh, I have to say that uh, you know he was one of the people who left uh, a very distinct mark on anybody and everybody who came in touch with him, uh, learned from him, and and uh, uh, he will be remembered uh, forever. And and uh, uh, I wish uh, sincere uh, condolences to um, Mrs. Saroj and and the family, and uh, uh, I am sure everybody else uh, will sort of try to uh, keep his memory alive in some way uh, in their hearts and hopefully uh, there can be some other means um, either in terms of uh, you know uh, lectureship or uh, you know or anything else that uh, we can um, uh, honor him uh, that he deserves uh, you know uh, in all our hearts so thank you again uh, for giving me the opportunity and uh, I am sorry I spoke out of turn, but I have some uh, family urgency and I may to leave in the middle. But again, good to see all of you. I'm seeing Dr. Datta after a long time. Uh, so nice to see you, sir. Uh, I'm seeing Dr. Bush and so many other people after such a long time. Uh, I wish there were made op more opportunity to see you uh, besides uh, you know, such occasions. But still, I'll take this opportunity to thank you all for being here. And uh, thank you for being our uh, guides and mentors over the years. Thank you, Dhanpat. Uh, uh, Ma'am Joshi, are you there? Dr. Joshi? We got a message in the path world that you may join later. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I, I do it. Dubai. Madam hasn't joined yet. Okay, okay. Thank you. So we go on with Dr. Murli then. Dr. Murli Verma? Uh, hi, uh, hi. Very good to see you all. I wish it was for a better occasion. Oh uh, yeah, I knew Rakesh because when I joined PGI, Rakesh was a new consultant. And as as everybody has said, you know, certainly ha love to have fun. Uh, I remember uh, parties in PGI residence quarters, where which could be pretty boisterous. And I do remember a couple of occasions where windows had got broken. We all had great fun. I'm not sure whether the resident in that room enjoyed broken window in winter in Chandigarh, uh, but Rakesh was responsible for a few of those broken windows and he was a lovely guy to have around. I was even more fortunate to uh, know Rakesh better uh, in Belfast, where I got to know Rakesh and Saroj. Dhruv looked a little different as an eight-year-old because he was a little bit older than my son and I think that we uh, became family friends and I think we were very very lucky to have that occasion. Uh, finally I think uh, Nandita I'll have to contradict you. You said that uh, Rakesh would never scold anyone. Well he did tell me of uh, because I think I was a first year trainee and he came into a room when I was with AKB and he said Mutli, how come you're sitting in AKB's room? said, AKB never asked me to sit down until I became a consultant. <coughs> but I think Rakesh was fun. And I, th I think we were all very lucky to know him, both professionally as well as personally. And he is a loss. But I think, as, as others have said, you know, he will be in our memories. Saroj, it is good to see you. I wish it was for a better occasion. And, you know, 
I wish you, wish you and all of you all the very best. Thank you, Dr. Morley. Uh, Dr. Vajpai, you can take the mic now. Uh, please sure. unmute yourself, yes. Uh, Dr. Nandita, just to tell you, Dr. KJ Ma'am has joined. Okay, okay. So the next she can do that. Hi, everybody. It's good to see a lot of people I haven't seen for a very long time. Dr. Datta, Namaskar. I hope you can recognize me. And Dr. Mohanty, it's been ages since I saw you. It is a very sad occasion. We have lost a friend. I hope Saroj will remember that uh, we stayed in their A block uh, room for a year when uh, Pratin and my son joined us in Chandigarh and they were living in the uh, outside uh, in some other house. But Dhruv was very small. I think uh, Dhruv and my son Rishi were the same age. They used to play together. And uh, Rakesh was so kind to let us stay in that A block apartment. We were staying in the B block tiny room. And we I think we stayed there for a year and we were very close. And then Saroj joined uh, my wife's department, Radonk. And so we used to hang out more. It's funny, I always call him Vashisht and he always called me Vajpai. I think it's a tradition in PGI that we all all call each other by our last names. I think a little hangover from the British that it's Vajpai and Vashish. It always was, even even till we became very good friends. But I felt very sad as I was telling uh, Andita. I was I tried to call him. We were in Amritsar for a CME about three years ago, and. I was thrilled to note he was going to be the chief guest, uh, but he didn't he didn't show up. And one of his friends in the meeting said he was not well. And he gave me his cell phone number and we tried to call many times during that stay, but I could not speak to him. Even from Toronto, I tried that cell phone number, but maybe it wasn't the right one. And uh, I, I, was, I was sad that time because we never met uh, after we left PGI. We never met. I think Saroj and Vashish, they went off to uh, Kuwait. We came off to Canada and then we could never, never meet again. So it was sad because he was a great, great guy. He was a great friend. And um, as you all heard, the life of the party, I, I will miss him. And I, my biggest regret is I never met him again. But uh, Rati joins me in... Uh, our condolences, Saroj, and we shall meet sometime, I hope. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Vajpai. Ma'am Joshi, are you there? Ma'am, good evening. Ma'am, just unmute yourself, please. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, Yes, I'm there and I've been listening to the YouTube before I could join in into this uh, sort of a meet. Yes, uh, um, yes, yes, Rakesh has been by my side in uh, all my years in the PGI, you know. Um, uh, my first uh, memory of Rakesh uh, Bush, Gurpreet, was the conference in Belgaum, um, uh, which was a couple of months before I joined, uh, you know, this great institution. And uh, uh, the entire team of Dr. Dutta was there. I mean, almost the entire team, team of Professor B. N. Dutta was attending the conference, and I was. Uh, uh, an outsider uh, to be inducted into PGI at that time, and of course, uh, and, uh, nobody could have missed uh, Rakesh's uh, charm, charisma, <laughs> you know, the personality that he was, uh, the brilliance, 
his love for histopathology and pathology, all of it rolled into one person. And then, of course, over the years from the January of 81 to the time that I superannuated, uh, every day you could see the inner personality of Rakesh, which was the sincerest of friends to friends, colleagues, neighbors, you know, just the people you meet on the road and everybody else. I think he had, uh, he was one person who had the loyalty and sincerity for all, you know. It, it's very easy to be sincere to your own friends, but to be a friend of everybody is uh, only Rakesh could have done it. So, he, I, I don't think he ever, ever failed anybody in their time of need. And so it was with us in the ups and downs of being uh, holding a department, uh, you know, uh, together, running a department in the later years and learning how to be a PGI for me in the in the in the beginning years. So that is Rakesh. I think uh, we went together every single day. Uh, uh, you know, to manage, to learn, <laughs> to be with each other and friends. So I, I think I was very, very lucky to have in the PGI Professor Datta and Dr. Banerjee as my mentors in a way, and Rakesh as my friend and a younger colleague. So we, we all, I mean, we have all said it, that anybody he uh, came across, he touched their, you know, hearts, and all of us uh, will uh, have very, very, very fond memories of Rakesh. Uh, so, uh, Saroj, uh, yes, uh, I mean, it's a big loss for Saroj and Dhruv, but an equal loss for uh, his colleagues and friends that he you know, not an equal, but, a, you know, quite a big loss for all his colleagues and friends that he left behind. And I, I mean, I joined you all in being another person who will very fondly remember him and very appropriate, uh, you know, um, to say that legends uh, live on forever. You know, and Rakesh was one such legend who threw his students and other colleagues and family will definitely live on forever. So that's uh, about it, about Rakesh. And thank you very much, uh, Anandita, for giving me the chance to be with you all. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Uh, Dr. Ravi Sarode? Dr. Venetia? Hey, Ravi here. Can you hear me? Hello, I hello. Guess you can. <laughs> Uh, Venetia won't be able to join, so uh, I think I'll t speak on uh, behalf of both of us. Uh, when we came to PGI, Rakesh was our senior resident, and he trained us in autopsy. <laughs> that was my only interaction with him, because after that, uh, I deviated towards hematology, and uh, he went to UK, and when he got back, by the time, you know, uh, we had different uh, interests academically, but <laughs> socially we were together. And um, as everybody said, we had Rakesh, who was always um, life of the party. And uh, I remember arranging two uh, overnight parties and picnics. One was Cheryl and other was Renu Khaled. And at that time, I don't know how much fun we had. And, uh, Murli was, I think, there in both. And after that, um, uh, we became really good friends. Um, uh, we meet recently when I went, every time I went to PGI, he would come and pick me up from the hotel and go to the uh, parties uh, wherever we had to. Um, everybody has talked about Rakesh being, you know, uh, great academically and being mentor to um, other juniors, uh, which I can understand why he would be remembered like that because that was his quality. 
I think the most important part I remember about him is he was the most honest person I ever met. He was very clean-hearted. He had no ill wills. He would say anything what he had to say honestly, and and you will know that he he has no ill wills against anybody. And I think that's the quality. Um, uh, I'm assume everybody would love to have it, and uh, it's a big loss because every time I, as I said, went to PGI, we met and had good time, good chat. Um, I think with that, I'll say bye because I had to uh, go to some other stuff. Uh, um, condolences to Saroj and Dhru. We never met Saroj, uh, so I just heard about her and Dhru. So I'll um, say bye bye to everybody. It's a really sad occasion. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ravi, Thank you so much. And so true, yeah. He was so, uh, sir was just, what he, what he was on top, he was uh, inside. He would say anything at any time, but then never kept away any ill will. That's so true about him. Really, very true. Uh, next, I invite Dr. Manoj Chaudhary. Dr. Chaudhary is not there. So he's not there, right. So, Dr. Neelam Verma, ma'am, are you there? Yeah. Yes, Nandita. Yes, ma'am. Please go yes. ahead. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, you know that uh, Rakesh was a senior resident when I joined as a junior resident in July 1983. We'll always remember him as a very bright histopathologist, perfect gentleman, and a helpful senior. Uh, so many others have shared their found memories of him and that he would always brighten up any party scene. I recall an incident that happened during a departmental picnic, uh, most likely in 1984. I think Ravi was mentioning about that. So while driving his red Maruti car to the destination, he had a kiddie's uh, water bottle around his neck and he would regularly take sips of the liquid, which obviously was not water. And everyone had a good laugh knowing that that was how he was, always liked his drinks. Uh, how I wish that he had better control over his intake of drinks, uh, wishful thinking. But it's such a big loss for his family and the departmental fraternity. Our deepest condolences to Saroj, Dhruv, Pranjali and the rest of the family. We'll always miss him. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Anila. Thanks a lot. Uh, Dr. Radhika, are you there? Uh, <coughs> yes, uh, Nandita. Uh, yes. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I just, uh, I just want to inform. Uh, good evening, everyone. And uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Uh, <coughs> Dr. Ashim had to leave for Calcutta because his mother had a fall, so he won't be able to join. And I'm speaking for both of us. Uh, well, Dr. Vasish or RKV, sir, as we used to call him. So when I joined, he was just a junior faculty there. And uh, <coughs> actually, you know, as a junior resident, um, I saw much fond memories, you know, all the fun memories are all linked to RKV in some way or the other. Uh, right from junior residency to the time I maybe even became a, you know, mid-level consultant. The first memory already Dr. Neelam Verma shared that when we went on a picnic, I was part of that, uh, you know, little red car. But probably we went to Kasoli or Renuka Lake, I can't remember. But yes, uh, uh, RKV sir was constantly sipping from that and obviously, you know, it wasn't water. And uh, I very naively, of course, asked him, why are you sipping from that? Uh, why are you drinking so much water, sir, you know? And then he gave a great uh, big laugh there. And of course, in all the parties, he was the life and soul. And uh, a party without RKV was no party at all, I would say. And that was, you know, we had all these passing out parties and this and that, including the CPC parties, etc., etc. <coughs> where Sir's mere presence 
was enough to you know bring us all together lighten the mood and uh, you know make it light and fun such a fun loving that he could spread that the positivity and fun loving uh, aspect of his nature to even the most serious <coughs> persons around him <coughs> and then of course he was one of the uh, you know histopathologists who had a very soft corner i would say for cytology as well and sometimes you know when there was a shortage of faculty in cytology skg ma'am would ask him uh, rakesh tum cover kar dena and i remember reporting with him and you know that was also reporting with him was also great fun and of course he attended a couple of our conferences cytocons as they called and uh, he would of course share a room with his buddy dr rajwanshi and uh, <clears throat> and then of course in those parties you know there would be a, i remember a few south indians uh, one consultant dr krishnamurthy from tata memorial also very serious very inhibited you know typical kind of south indian person you know who didn't want to dance and all that but uh, i went and challenged him if you can make her dance you know that will be uh, it's on me then then he took that took up and he just went held her hands brought her to the dancing floor and it was pure fun again all fun and these are some lovely memories and again i think uh, it was in apcon uh, that time i was a faculty and i don't know how many of you came to we went on a house boat trip uh and we went to also these waterfalls uh, near atirapalli and uh, again dr vasesh was uh, sitting at the in uh, you know the helm of the house boat he told that guy you know to go inside and he was kind of rowing it or pretending to row it i would say for a while and again all my fun uh, you know memories of pgi are, are like i tell you linked to uh, rkv sir and we miss him so much so much i can't tell you how much we miss him because of the you know the positivity and the real love that uh, came from within him and uh, it was no holds barred and it was so good all we had such a good time with him uh, that i i mean that is the my real homage to rkv sir and of course ja- before i forget brilliant cpcs brilliant histopathologist i i can i can recollect to cpcs uh, and almost he would uh, you know do these non oncology neuropath cpcs one was on uh, demyelination syndrome and one was on amoebic meningoencephalitis of course they were both uh, <clears throat> absolute surprises to the clinicians and fantastic analysis of the case you know in those days based on pure morphology without all these crutches of immunohistochemistry and things like that a fantastic teacher fantastic teaching sessions brilliant histopathologist and above all such a lovely genial cordial fun loving person i mean it's only that you can see all of these in one person that is rkv sir with these few words i pay my homage to him and uh, my condolences Uh, to the family thank you very much thank you radhika ji you just described him so beautifully that was just amazing uh reena are you there reena i i i had seen you earlier dr reena yes i'm there yeah is yeah. uh, yeah. more yeah. like yeah Uh, yeah so uh, how we know rkv sir is all the descriptions that i've been hearing since uh, the last one hour and uh, uh, my relationship with him i think was uh, i will say probably more professional because uh, i didn't get to know him that closely because i didn't work as a senior resident with him for very long um but his brilliance Yes, of course, we uh, have seen uh, in so many occasions. I think you all have described about the CPCs, uh, sir. CPCs we would never miss because his command over English and uh, the way he presented. I think it was uh, just sheer. His charm was so much. Uh, also, uh, I I didn't report with him very long because he was not uh, there when I, I was in working in histopathology. and then of course i moved on to hematology uh, and then i didn't get the opportunity to interact with him so much but um, uh, uh, yeah his memories i don't think we are going to ever forget 
uh, I think uh, the major uh, thing I found with him was that whoever interacted with him uh, thought that he was special with him. He had a special relationship. I think even though um, I did not report with him very long, I always felt that I was special to him and I have a spe special relationship with him. I think that is something he had. His charm was so captivating. And um, uh, we are, uh, of course, going to miss him so much. The last few years uh, uh, before he retired also, uh, we didn't see much of him. He uh, wasn't keeping very well. And uh, uh, those are the kind of regrets we will have. I think that um, he uh, could have taught a lot, many students. He could have taught much more towards the latter part of his uh, career, I think, the last couple of years. Uh, I think he stopped reporting. That was, uh, I think, uh, kind of sad, I will say. But um, all of us who have had the opportunity to interact with him, I think we'll never forgive, forget him. And uh, yeah, he'll always remain extremely special to us. It still seems very difficult for us to comprehend that he's no more. But uh, so is life, I think. As we are growing older, we are coming across all this, losing Dr. Banerjee. And then Dr. Vashish the, at such a short notice gap. I think that's a irreplaceable loss for all of us. And uh, we'll miss him, sir, always. Thank you. Thank you, Reena. Thank you so much. Uh, Dr. Sudarshan Bhagat, have you joined? Dr. Sudarshan is not there. And he's not there. Uh, Dr. Dr. Vika Mohanty, ma'am, would you like to say something? Ma'am Mohanty, would you like to say something? Ma'am, you are yes. muted. Please unmute yourself first. Ma'am, you are muted. I was seeing her actually, but then. Uh, Dr. Mohanty, you are muted, ma'am. Uh, so maybe you can ask uh, somebody else by the time ma'am comes on. Uh -huh. oh, you're so sweet, Dr. Rajwanshi. That's your little granddaughter, grandson. Oh, so sweet. Uh, ma'am, Dr. Mohanty, you are muted, ma'am. Okay, then. Uh, Neeraj Dhamija. Yeah, he's there. He, he's there, no? Dr. Neeraj. When uh, Reena says that he has a command over English, very few people will know that he has, his father has written the botany book, Vachistan yes. Vachistar. And even after he was gone, he has edited those books and upgraded. Dr. Neeraj Dhamija. Uh, good evening, ma'am. Uh, good evening to my respected teachers. Uh, I pay my homage to RKV, sir. I learned a lot from sir. And especially her sir, sir CBC, CBC, and during uh, routine reporting, sir's teaching was excellent. Yeah. And I will always miss her, sir's teaching and his CBCs. I pay my humble homage to her. Okay, thank you, Neeraj. Thank you so much. And Dr. Saran, Dr. RK Saran, I think. Saran is not there. No, he's not there. He sent a message. Okay, then we move on to Dr. Poonam. Dr. Poonam, please take the mic. Good evening, ma'am. Uh, thank you so much for letting me speak. Uh, uh, my uh, heartfelt condolences to Saroj, ma'am, and the entire team at PGI. So, though I've never been taught, though I've never been taught by Sir, uh, except for one month, his topology posting, uh, as uh, Radhika, ma'am, has already said. He was amazing at CPCs, and I even I wanted to speak about the uh, Negleria Follery he talked about. I mean, there was pin drop silence in the auditorium at in that CPC 
uh, room in PGI and there was another which he did with Dr. Pradeep Bhambri and sir ne uske baad Shero Shairi ki and I mean the entire uh, thing was you know it was electric the way he would command the stage uh, that's one thing and he was instrumental in my promotion at Ames Jodhpur from associate to additional professor sir came from Chandigarh for that interview and uh, after that I constantly kept in touch with him and what I would like to say is that in spite of being so senior there was not a single day that sir didn't uh, reply to my messages or to whatever I had to say uh, except since 19th October this year when he stopped replying and I just thought maybe he's you know this is Diwali time so he's busy with his family and uh, but unfortunately uh, didn't get a message after that but he was so sincere in replying encouraging and such sweet witty comments he would make it was really amazing so uh, I'll definitely miss him thank you so much thank you Poonam thank you uh, Dr. Mahesha can you take the mic now uh, uh, Namaste Sabi Ko Ma'am uh, Professor Datta Sabi Ko Ma'am Mera Pranam Sabi Ko Saroj ma'am, हम सब आपके साथ हैं आरकेवि सर और वो हम सब के प्यारे थे जब मैं पीछे जॉइन हुआ था तो ये थीसिस गाइड का लिस्ट होता था गाइड हमको पिक करने होते थे तो हम साथ के बैच में आई वाज द लास्ट एंड आरकेवि सर्स नेम वाज इन द लास्ट चेक एंड आफ्टर कमिंग आउट फ्रॉम जोशी मैम्स रूम after uh, everybody started asking like who is uh, uh, who got the thesis guide of uh, i mean rkv sir and they uh, everyone gave me that uh, feel that uh, i was really lucky and i i i, I still feel that uh, i was very fortunate to have rkv sir as guide and we we always uh, uh, mentioned that papa or mummy वहाँ पे जो थीसिस गाइड को होता है एंड आई आई स्टैंड बाई दैट वर्ड लाइक ही वॉज रियल पापा टू मी इवन लास्ट ईयर भी आई मीन ही आई यूज टू टॉक टू हिम ओ द फोन ही पिक द फोन कॉल्स एवरी टाइम बाकी लोग बोलते थे कि सर फोन नहीं उठाते बट आई आई नेवर फेस दैट दैट ही डिन पिक अप द कॉल so uh, in, in in his birthdays also whenever i i try to call him like he always uh, uh, talk to uh, uh, the phone calls or jab hamare time mein ek untoward incident hua tha keron block mein koi suicide kar liya tha student and then there was a, 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 a policy which was newly introduced ki एक यहाँ पे लोकल गार्डियन एक मेल और एक फीमेल जो फैकल्टीज होते हैं और वहाँ पे राजवंशी सर को मेरा गार्डियन बनाया था वो लिस्ट इसमें एंड देन व्हेन आई व्हेन एंटर्ड आर के वी सर्स रूम एंड टोल्ड सर ये ऐसा ऐसा है तो अच्छा बहुत लकी है तो काश हमें भी ऐसा ही होता एंड देन वहाँ पे और बाकी पार्टीज में भी देखते थे कि जब तक आर के सर ना हो वो पार्टी का मजा ही नहीं होता आई मीन वी ऑल वेटेड एज अ रेजिडेंट दैट आर के वी सर प्रेजेंस इन पार्टी एंड जब वो डांस करना शुरू कर रहे तब हमको लगता था कि ये ये पार्टी में जान आ गई अब तो पार्टी शुरू हुई <laughs> तो पार्टी शुरू हुई एंड आई कुड whenever he it talked about all other colleagues in in the uh, department and uh, uh, dr ajunchi sir ka jaise jay aur viru ka dosti i mean i could uh, somehow in his uh, wordings i could always uh, sense that the uh, uh, the reliability of what in the uh, between the friendships uh, he always would tell like ha डॉक्टर राजवंशी सर के पास जाना चले जाना वो हो जाएगा आई हैड अ डिफिकल्टी इन गेटिंग द थीसिस कंप्लीशन बिकॉज द एंटीबॉडी वाज नॉट वर्किंग सो देन ही पुट मी टू डॉक्टर राजवंशी सर टू गेट द एंटीबॉडी और एज अ सीनियर रेजिडेंट आई मीन 
uh, whenever his posting was there, a senior resident learns a lot in his uh, tenure of the reporting month because uh, the entire uh, reporting would be done by the senior resident and he would just pick up the slides which are difficult for SRs and that really gave us a full confidence uh, and he would just teach हर एक स्लाइड में एक एक लेसन आप सीख लो बस काम खत्म ये जिंदगी भर चलता रहेगा तो वेरी फॉन्ड मेमोरीज ऑफ आर के वी सर एंड मैं इतना ही कह सकता हूँ थैंक यू महेश इतना ही कह सकते हैं डॉक्टर शांतला डॉक्टर शांतला यू आर देयर यू वांटेड टू से समथिंग आई थिंक शी इज लेफ्ट पूनम वशिष्ठ आई थिंक यू रेज योर हैंड यू वांटेड टू से समथिंग And anybody else wants to say something? Uh, later on, I'll tell. I'll, I'll ask. I'll invite Saroj. Before that, anyone else wants to speak? Nadim is the last one. But Sanjay, uh, Sanjay Jogai has to say something. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, Sanjay. Doctor Sanjay. Okay. In the meantime, Naveen can say. Naveen, please go on. Uh, <coughs> good evening. टीचर्स एंड मुझे समझ नहीं आ रहा है क्या मैं बोलूँ सर के बारे में मतलब आई मस्ट टेल यू लाइक आई वॉज वेरी लकी टू बी यू नो हैव एम एज माई गाइड एंड टॉट मी यू नो बेसिक्स ऑफ हिस्टोपैथोलॉजी एंड अदर थिंग्स आई वॉज वेरी लकी टू यू नो सर्वाइव डूरिंग द पी जी आई यू नो लाइक इट वॉज टफ टाइम I remember, like it was totally transformation for me from MBBS to uh, doing MD in PGI. It was very tough, but I think sir and all of my teachers have made it easy, and sir was very contributory to make things life easy for us. I have learned a lot from him, and uh, my sincere condolences to the family. And uh, and just no words further. I think uh, he was great man. and he 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 tries to understand what was like you know problems with the resident and other thing uh, other people and he try to support them in each manner you know like each way he used to support us and that's a big quality uh, and i am try to learn this and uh, do this similar to my juniors thank you sir for te- teaching us and condolences to madam and uh, sorry for your loss ma'am for all loss for all of us Thank you, Naveen. Ah, uh, Sanjay. Yes. Yes. Can you can you hear me? Photo with Anna. Yes, Sanjay. Go ahead. Yes, we can hear yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, first of all, my sincere condolences to Dr. Saroj, Madam, uh, and the entire family. Uh, I have got something very strange to say. Uh, it may it may sound very strange to whatever has been said already. I first came to know about R K V Sir even before I joined P G I. and and believe me about that uh, the way it was was my good friend biman saikia who is now a professor in immunopathology used to be my batchmate in dibrugarh assam medical college and while we were preparing to take the entrance exams to get into pgi uh, I, i i could not succeed it in the first time uh, i used to hear the stories from biman uh, that what a fabulous department pgi was and more than what was being taught in the department the extra curricular thing so he must have already by that time been to several picnics and extra you know the meet the parties and things like that and what what he got me to was we had this consultant dr rk vasist rkb as we call him and uh, the message i basically got from him was within pgi aap jab subah se sham hospital mein department mein hote ho you are a resident and you live in the decorum and everything and there is this extra curricular side to pgi where you go on picnics coming from a very traditional hierarchical society uh, back in amc dibrugarh i could never imagine uh, that this this is something that could be happening so 
uh, strange it may sound, I first came to know about RK Visa before even joining PGI. And obviously, when you are there, you you have this very tall, smart, handsome man. You're almost in awe of him, uh, of whatever he does, whatever he teaches. Uh, and then subsequently, uh, we were in touch when uh, in Kuwait as well. Uh, and a lot has already been said about him. Uh, so I, I wouldn't say I don't have much to add on to that. Uh, but my sincere condolences to Dr. Saroj and the family. And thank you for giving me this last minute opportunity. Thank you. Nandita. Dr. Nandita. Hanji, Hanji, ma'am. Dr. Datta wants to say something. Yes, Can you yes. Have a minute? Yes, yes, of course, ma'am. Of course. Hello. Hello, everybody. Namaskar, sir. Namaskar. I have had the privilege of joining a dressed up. A dressed up group of students who are, in any case, among the best in this country and are also known in England as well as some parts of UK, USA. Dr. RKV was among the best that we had. He would take care in the discussions on pathology as well as on cytology and was always number one in the discussions. It was a pleasure to be with Dr. R.K. Bashisht and I have realized that there are very few like him in this group. I would address him as one of the best and God thank me for having attended him. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, Dr. Nadeem? Pulkit. Uh, Pulkit, you want to say something? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I was looking for that. Uh, first of all, heartfelt condolences to the uh, ma'am, Saroj ma'am, and the entire family. So I was uh, really lucky to be with sir during my junior residency and then directly uh, with sir as a faculty colleague with a gap in between the senior residency. And the qualities which I have learned from the sir is the confidence, the faith that they have in their residents among the faculty colleagues also and how he could manage the balance the act how to make a balance with all the, the different faculties and their views and everything that was fantastic so i have seen in the department that everyone used to listen to sir and they used to follow and so, sir was the gold standard we used to consider in the department and this is why uh I have learned so much from this sir and there are certain administrative qualities which sir had and they were fantastic. So that was all from my side. My heartfelt condolences to ma'am, everyone in the Thank you. I'll ask again. Thank you, Pulkit. Anyone else wants to speak before Nadeem takes the mic? Nadim, do you want to speak now or let Ma'am Saroj speak first? No, I think I will speak. She can okay, speak. Okay, she will be right. the last person to speak. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you, Dr. Nandita. And uh, I think uh, everybody has spoken and uh, we have expressed, you know, what we all thought about RKV, sir. But before I uh, speak, I should uh, take this opportunity of reading all the messages which have been written on the YouTube. This is my duty to do that. So I'll just go one by one through the messages. These are the people who there's a big group of people on the YouTube who can uh, who can just type messages and then they can see and hear, but they can't talk to us. So I'll go one by one. Sashi Dhawan, she's there and she said I'm there. Anupama Malik, she writes fond memories of Safti reporting picnics and parties as specified by one and all. In addition, memories of Q8. <coughs> Then Alka Bhartwaj, she says, Miss you, Chachi, Om Shanti. 
from eye infirmary nabha had never met rkv but listening to all his friends and having known you in our geomco batch of 74 i am sure he must have been a beautiful soul our heartfelt condolences saroj take care rkv is in god's own beautiful kingdom this friend of yours will always just a message call away 247365 Suresh Sharma says I miss you my dear brother rest in peace Prabhu Sharma Then Dr Ashok Malik writes he was very affectionate always helpful and still remember him how he looked after us during our last alumni meet may his soul rest in peace and our heartfelt condolences to Saroj ji and family Ashok Agarwal says miss you buddy life won't be the same again with you gone gone with you all the jest and the liveliness besides touching our lives with with you sheer intellect and brilliance rest in peace chacha as we knew you dr pavan says may the almighty grant peace to his noble soul and grant strength to the family dr pooja bakshi says may his soul rest in eternal peace he will always be remembered by all our students as a great pathologist and teacher Suresh Sharma says very friendly affectionate and generous he used to be helpful with everyone without asking many times Neeraj Kumari says i had the opportunity to report and enjoy his company only in my last year of residency but nonetheless i would say i learned some of the fantastic things in pathology didn't touch the brain in first four autopsy posting last one was with rkv sir when he said ghar mein sabzi kaata hai kabhi if yes then you can cut the brain also enjoyed safty sessions with him until him still remember those days rest in peace sir om shanti neeraj kumari these are the messages i think i have read all of them uh, <coughs> right so man uh, i have very fond memories of rkv sir as uh, i always used to call him and uh, i will just relate to you uh, three of the incidents which i had with him which will uh, tell his uh, personality and uh, the way he was uh, the first one which i remember i mean among all the ones which i remember the one which i want to talk about here is the first one was during my exam my fa- my final md exam and on the final day you know we all had this uh, photographs of em which used to be shown to us as spotters and rkv sir was the invigilator and uh, and you had to see those spotters and write what it was so i had seen one such i was given that and i was trying to write and rkv sir was looking at it as to what i was writing so i just looked at him and we had an eye contact and this was a difficult one and i was trying to figure out what it was and i had written something so i just looked at him he smiled i smiled and uh, then he looked at the examiner and he tells the examiner hal chal theek thaak hai sab kuch theek thaak hai aapki dua se sab theek thaak hai the examiner just smiled and i also smiled and i just moved on and uh, that was enough that was our kvc sir and uh, that was the first incident i want to relate the second was when i was a senior resident in histopathology uh, there was one very difficult case which i had to report so i went to dr kim she saw it and she said our kvc sir ko dikhao so i went to rkv sir to report with him and he saw that this was a very unusual skin adnexal tumor with lot of calcification and i exactly don't remember the name as that at this point of time so he saw the whole thing he reported it and when i was leaving the room he called me back and he said isko publish karna so i just looked at him he said ha isko publish karna aur tum publish karna as a first author so i said fine He said, "Ha, if you don't understand, then come back to me. I will tell you how to write it. I will tell you." That was very impressive of him. Of course, I didn't publish that because I left PGI very soon. <clears throat> the third was uh, when, during my farewell, when I was leaving PGI, uh, everybody had some advice to give, and uh, and that and all those advice still ring in my ears. Archie, sir, so I walked to him and I just smiled at him, and he said. वो थोड़ा कम काम करना प्लेन खरीद नहीं पाओगे गाड़ी खरीद पाओगे 
थोड़ा काम कम करना कुछ खाना पीना और एंजॉय भी करना ऐसे ठीक है सर एक साल बाद वन ईयर लेटर वी हैड दी कॉन्वोकेशन सो वेन आई केम बैक आई हैड गेन वेट तो ही द फर्स्ट थिंग वेन ई सॉ मी सेट ओ तेरे मेरे तूने मेरी बात बड़ी सीरियसली ले ली लगता है सिर्फ खाता पीता है काम भी नहीं करता and i just smiled at him and he said that carry on and that was rkv sir for me and um, i'm highly privileged uh, to be organizing this uh, whole thing and i just now pass it back to manandita to invite the rest of the people thank you so much uh, i have one more thing to say so it was i, I didn't want to say this actually but then uh, i just i just want to say it now so uh, when i went to and met him on uh, after he were admitted he was as i said he was just smiling at me and i was smiling at him i said sir up diwali tak bilkul ghar chale jayenge he said uh, how's the colonel he said how's the colonel i said the colonel is fine that's my dad you know he was very fond of my father so he said uh, because wo bhi brahman the bhardwaj aur ye vishesh to kafi unka wo tha so uh, i said uh, maine kaha kya ko kehte nahi ek message dena hai unko maine kaha sir kya dena hai कहते उनको बोलना मैं आ रहा हूँ ऑब्वियसली उस वक्त तो मेरे को रोना ही आ गया वन ही सेट दिस यू नो इधर उनको बोला मेरा ध्यान रखें तो मैंने कहा हाँ जी सर ठीक है सो आई जस्ट वॉक आउट सो ही न्यू इनफैक्ट ऑन हिज बर्थडे ऑन द ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ही न्यू दैट ही इज गोइंग द वे ही सेट इट विद सो मच ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस एंड विद सो मच ऑफ दिस थिंग ही सेट उनको बोल देना मैंने कहा हाँ जी सर आई आई डेफिनेटली टेन इन that's all i could say so that is dr rkv he had an he had an insight you know he had a third eye he could see so many things and uh, he was different he was totally different he was not uh, he was from mars maybe he was not from this planet i would say that uh, so now with all this with uh, thank you everyone for uh, talking uh, and uh, giving us so much about dr rkv and now i invite dr saroj Thank you, Dr. Nandita. Can you hear me? Can you hear? Hello. Yeah, can... Very clearly. Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah. It was very nice to hear all those condolences and a uh, uh, lot of aspects of uh, Rakesh. You know, I came to know from you all. Probably, you know, we didn't know all that you said about him. So, yeah, Rakesh was a very loving, caring, and supportive husband, and. Uh, thorough gentleman and a true family man and we got married very early and i was an intern at that time and all my achievements as a doctor in medicine is all because of him otherwise i wouldn't have been what i am today it's all because of him you know his uh, his academic uh, was uh, he was brilliant at that uh, uh he had a great gift of summarizing the subject from the books and uh, i remember you know for his uh, mrcp exam we were in belfast and he would make a first set of notes from the big books and then the second set of notes the third set of notes and the fourth set of notes would be just four papers you know that's how he would summarize the whole of mrcp subject and this is how he passed part 1 and part 2 within 6 months and this and created such a sensation in belfast that each and every person in royal victoria, victoria hospital would come to see who this person is you know because it was something very out of the world it was a unique thing he was always very calm you know and he was a th thorough family man and uh, i'll give you an example when dhruv he was in uh, 12th class and uh, preparing for his uh, medical exams you know he would not travel by car he would always go on the bicycle and so much you know i would tell him that please you don't tire yourself so much you're going everywhere on the bicycle he says no i have to save petrol because you don't know you know i have to put him in the medical college you know that was his dedication towards his family and this is how he supported us throughout you know whatever i wanted to do you know i said i want to do my UK exams he would never say no he was so supportive though he suffered a lot because even you know at a later age of uh, 
when I was, uh, you know, with a small child, I wanted to do exams. He would never refuse me. He was always supported, though he suffered because of, you know, all that academic pursuit of my mind, you know, looking for uh, doing exams, which, of course, now I regret. I shouldn't have, you know, uh, cared so much about all that. Anyway. And he was always, you know, never showed if he had any problem. He would always hide and it would become very difficult for me to know if he had a problem. Even in the later years, in the past two or three years when he was very sick, I had to really, you know, find ways to know what exactly was his problem, kahan darat ho rahi hai, kya hai. You know, it was a thorough guesswork because he would never show that he has a problem. You could see it like he's not able to walk, he's not able to do this, he's not able, but then, you know, he would say, no, I'm fine. And then he doesn't want to ever go to a, the hospital or see any doctor. He'd say, you are the doctor, I'm the doctor, whatever problems we have, you have to, you know, treat me or treat, treat yourself. So it like he always wanted to show that he's fine, though, you know, even if he would be suffering a lot he would always try to show that he's fine and you don't think about me and you go about with your uh, jobs and I'm perfectly fine and he would always show that so you know uh, and the last days it was uh, on the 18th of October uh, he's suddenly in the evening you know he had very high fever with ch chills and riders so my son you know he was out of station and he came at night and uh, we, we saw that his temperature was 102. So we were trying to, uh, you know, uh, do cold sponging. And uh, uh, in the morning, of course, you know, uh, we took his urine culture and then uh, put him on antibiotics. And then on the 20th, you know, suddenly he had disturbed sensorium. And that is when, you know, then I thought that something is really wrong because uh, he suddenly would not understand what's happening. Uh, so when when my son came in the evening, you know, we decided we talked to uh, we decided we talked to Dr. Nandita, then to Dr. Ajay Suja, and then we decided to take him to the hospital. We were able to take him in the hospital to the hospital just because he had disturbed sensorium. Otherwise, if in his normal senses, we could have never been able to take him to the hospital. So that was his this thing, always trying to show that he's perfectly fine and nothing is wrong. So. Uh, he has left behind, a, you know, a great void in my life, of course. And it's a lot of memories to cherish. But, uh, and now, you know, I have to find the purpose of my life. And there are a lot of uh, unanswered questions and a lot of riddles to be solved. So probably that would be the purpose of my life to find, you know, uh, to solve the riddles and the problems and to find what was the, you know, the, the, the things you know which were not right that's all so thanks for all your support om shanti thank you saroj and we we hope we pray to god that you find the answers to all the riddles and you do well and you're a very strong person an exceptionally strong person who's worked alone in kuwait for so long and uh, i'm sure you'll be able to do it and we are all there for you have any problem just give us a tinkle we'll be there for you Anytime, 24-7. And Drew, would you like to say something better? Pranjali would say when I would say. Pranjali, please go on. First, I would like to thank all of you for those nice words. And uh, I just want to say that uh, in the morning whenever I used to go to work, so I used to dress up and go and come down and say, Hi, Daddy, kya hala hai ho? And then he would always appreciate my dress. And you always say, wow, aaj to ye, aaj to wo. So I miss that and I'll always miss him. So thank you all. Andrew? Yes. Yeah, I would like to say, yeah, yeah it was great. Everybody, uh, it was lovely listening to everybody. Uh, what I would like to say is that uh, I always remember he would always uh, say to me, yeah, when my time comes, I'll put my tube in my bed. I'll give it to Ram. 
So that is what he always used to say to me. So maybe, so what happened on twenty first he was admitted, and twenty uh, second he was slightly better. Then slowly, slowly his sensorium started uh, deteriorating. On twenty sixth uh, evening I gave him soup at around eight o'clock. He was later. He had disturbed sensorium throughout the day, but he was still awake on and off. So on twenty sixth eight o'clock I gave him soup. and then i said that khana so you are not in the mood then i said okay i'll come later then then i went at 10 o'clock again in the night on 26 so uh, i tried to wake him i gave him a painful stimuli he will not he didn't wake up he didn't wake up for food so i thought okay we we had a private room there i went and slept and i said morning may i try again to so 27th morning again i went to the icu and i again tried to wake him he would not wake up So from 26th night he was not waking up, and uh, then 27th morning I went to work. So I was feeling the situation crab anyway. So suddenly mummy gave me a call at two o'clock. He had to ah ja they are saying to let's intubate that we have to intubate him. I said you are not going to intubate him. I am coming wait for me. So uh, when I went there I said uh, no we are going to take him home because I knew his time is coming. He also knew his time is coming. he was very much disturbed in the hospital but uh, that uh, so we took him home uh, the doctor the suja also said ki ya chance le sakte ho 1% chance hai maine sir maine chance le aaye anyway 1% chance one month ventilator it was no use suffering no use so we brought him home and then i called my relatives jisko milna hai aake mil lo he will not last the night anymore so everybody came fir log milke 9:30 they went off then 10 o'clock i slept with him down he was on the bed sleeping with his gasping respiration and then i was i lied down then 10:30 is i suddenly i was not sleeping i was awake because i knew it is going to happen so 10:30 in the night suddenly his respiration stopped i called the tender i said phada phada i put him down on the floor immediately still i put him in my lap one gas we took in my lap and then mummy came and then one gas we took seeing her and then he went off so in the end i can say yes he died in my lap and uh, he died peacefully when we brought him home he was at peace in the hospital he was very much disturbed so uh, that was good i felt very good about that that he died in peace and i did what he told me that uh, please yaar mere mein tube mat dalwa na kabhi so i am happy about that and i know he up there he is happy about that Anyway, as everybody fondly said that he was the Brahman of our uh, thing, uh, I would uh, like to famous shalok is there in the Gita, which tells us that the soul, uh, the body dies, but the soul again goes and is again born into another body. So uh, I would like to recite a shalok regarding in the from the Gita. वांसांसी जीर्णानी यथा विहाय नवानी ग्रेगनाती नरो पराणी तथा शरीराणी विहाय जीर्णा नन्याती सन्याती नवानी देही सो हिज सोल इज अगेन वेटिंग टू बी रीबॉर्न इन टू अनदर बॉडी थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू एवरीवन thank you nadeen for everything for such a lovely uh, ppt that you made for sir and i will cherish that forever and thank you everyone who joined us today and long uh, dr rkv we are sir we are you would live in our hearts rest in peace you are in heaven i guess bali there pardon dr bali is there in case he wants to okay. see some dr bali would you like to say something sir I think it's a very sad occasion, and I have very fond memory of uh, meeting Dr. Vasti. It's been um, doing, mostly during the CPC, and uh, I heard uh, people talk about uh, that Nigleria famous CPC. Uh, I was also there, and uh, it was a pleasure listening to him. And uh, we did interact on few occasions, but uh, I just heard uh, uh, week two weeks back that we are, he's no more. That was a great shock to me, and. Uh, losing him after dr benerji so shortly uh, it's a great loss and he was a doyen of pgi 
and uh, whatever time I had in PGI, I I thought he was a wonderfully uh, gifted person, both as a writer as a human being, and I think it's a great loss to PGI. My heartfelt condolences to Saroji and everybody in the family, and the entire pathology fraternity in the world for whom it's a great loss. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Bali. Om Shanti. And thank there you are two everyone. more messages to be read. I should, I think, I should read those two. Also. Yes, yes. Please do so. Yeah, one is from Shashi Dhawan. She says, "Brilliant professional with heart of gold." Meera Shukla. We still not believe. He will always be remembered in our hearts. Abhishek Vashisht. Huge loss to the Vashisht family and a personal loss to me, as he was more than a father figure for me. He was always there beside me. Will miss you, Kuku, Uncle. The void can't be filled. I think we are done with that. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nadeem. Thank you, everyone, and Om Shanti. Right. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you, Dr. Thank mm -hmm. you.